And on this episode of Shill's Gonna Shill, we have this from the Mercury News. Review, ignore the negativity. Star Wars Outlaws is fun and refreshing non-Jedi adventure. So let me see if I understand this correctly, okay? All the people that review this game seem to hate it. That Actually, no, I take that back, though. There is almost a 50-50 split here. Either people are reviewing it, like this guy right here, loves the game, gave it a 3.5 out of 4. 3.5 out of 4. Why would that be your rating system? I don't I don't understand that. Wouldn't you go out of 5? I just... That, that right there sounds so stupid. Okay, back to what I was saying. So, either the reviews so far are, this game is great, ignore the haters, or this game is terrible, don't buy it. There is no realistic middle ground with any of these things anymore. We either have people on opposite ends, and you as the consumer, you could kind of tell already without even playing this game, you know it's not going to be a great game, right? I mean, realistically, imagine if I was to come out here and say, hey guys, Star Wars Outlaws is a great game. Would you think I sold out? Would you think that WoW World War Joe got the paycheck, and he's now shilling for Star Wars and Disney? Now, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I automatically go, hey guys, everyone else else out there is wrong, but you should listen to me. That's just crazy. I think that's the worst way to start off a review right there, is just saying, ignore the negativity. The negativity is justifiably there. Disney Star Wars is garbage right now, and Star Wars games right now are even worse. This game, I'm, I'm telling you, when this when the smoke clears on this game... There's going to be a lot of people out of jobs. And now we got Yasuke, the greatest samurai of all time game coming out. Ooh, Ubisoft. I'm telling you this right now. This company, this company that has been around for decades, it might be on the verge of bankruptcy. I'm, I'm going on a limb right now and saying it because Star Wars, massive IP. This game took years to make ton of money I, I mean i actually don't know how much is money this game costs to make but if concord took 200 million dollars who knows how much this star wars game costs to make and then again like i said we got ubisoft's next greatest flop out there assassin's creed shadows which looks bad how do you make an Assassin's Creed game look stupid? I don't I don't understand that. Did you see the scene where Yasuke, the greatest samurai of all time, is doing that eagle jump off a building? It looks terrible. It looks absolutely stupid. How do you screw that up in an Assassin's Creed game? Back to Star Wars game. Yeah, this reviewer, 100% biased with it. He says right here, his, o- his opening lines of this review, the best way to enjoy Star Wars is to ignore the franchise's fans. Oh, okay. I wonder if this dude signed the uh, petition to keep the acolyte alive. Honestly, what a what a way to divide your audience right there. No, no, no. The best way to enjoy this game is to just block out the noise. That it's a terrible game. Goes on to say the community is cancerous and its toxicity has meta satirize through social media with a rabid irate hate over most projects star wars has been garbage for a few years man i would say since disney bought star wars it has nosedived not been like oh has a couple of wins here and there no 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 it's all been bad granted well i'm gonna say granted the race series made some money i don't know if that made any money I need to do an honest, deep dive into the Ray Trilogy to find out if it made money. Because from what I looked at, this move, these movies seem to have lost a lot of money as more of them came out. And the marketing budgets got bigger. So, I don't know. If it made a profit, it didn't make a big one. Because right now, Disney has not made its money back from the Lucas deal of buying the IP of Star Wars. So... Man, there aren't a lot of wins over there, clearly. He goes on to say, With that bias, it makes any online criticism about Star Wars shows and video games hard to trust. You know what? I kind of agree with that. 
with a biasness, it is tough to trust if a reviewer is being truthful or has an agenda. However, we've seen the gameplay. We've seen the commercials. We've seen the screenshots. We've seen what this game looks like. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. That's like watching a movie trailer and saying, Hey, Morbius looks like a piece of crap. Maybe I shouldn't spend my money on this movie and instead just wait till it comes on streaming and maybe watch it at home if I have nothing else going on. When this game fails, and fail it will, it will be on the Xbox Game Pass. And you know what? That's when I will play this game. I will play this game then because it looks like crap, so I'm not going to spend my money on it to give a review on it. But until then, hell no, I'm not touching this game. Hell no. And what he just said right there, with that bias, buddy, you seem very biased. Very, very biased in your opinion. You cannot start off a, a, a review with the best way to enjoy Star Wars is to ignore the franchise's fans. That ain't a good way. With the Acolyte, really quickly. If you remove the Star Wars tag from the Acolyte, it's a bad show. If you take away a galaxy far, far away, and you take away everything of Star Wars canon, and just make it about, I don't know, Samurais or something like that, which is what they were trying to go with, it's still a bad show. It fails, Star Wars or not. So, this game right here, if it wasn't called Star Wars... No one will be talking about it. Let's just be clear about that. This game does not remotely look interesting whatsoever. It's not going to bridge the, the Star Wars universe in ways that we've never seen before. It looks like an average open world game and that's it. Doesn't really look like it's going to move the needle in any way, shape, or form. But, man, in the end, what do you guys think about that? Yesterday the samurai under the Japanese sky A legacy engraved.